go and dig a series of holes down through the middle of that. And then we can put a little barrier across here and let water in there and watch the level rise exactly the same uh, in, the, in that delta. So along with the fact that that's caused the de-energising, there's an in-ground water table that helps to break the energy because the in-ground water is at the level of the sand and therefore once you take the pressure off that little piece there it stops the water moving in the sand that stops the erosion process and it's the water in the sand that actually stops it not necessarily just the sand so it needs to fill up and the, the water in the sand that's non-compressible it lays the next lot of sand so if you can get more water if this pattern gets better this will this this little island will grow bigger you imagine you block water like in a pipe that means that nothing's moving in that patch. Mm. So when you can fill the water up at the top, it's, it'll get another layer of sand, and so it just keeps coming up. But it's the water in the sand that's stopping it, carrying it along. See here, the pebbles are bigger, and this fall line is such that these pebbles are not rolling. But if we could put this water up onto there, which we could do by going back up there and setting a channel along, you'd see it'll cut a hole straight through this. Mm. Yeah, no, I well. want you to forget the bit on the ground. You look at the pattern on the ground now and then work out how it got there. And it got there because of what the water was doing. Oh, and the yes. pattern is the result of the water, not the, wa the ground, the result of the, the water pattern. You've just told me the opposite thing. It's a lot harder to work it out that way, you see? Mm -hmm. And then you can make mistakes. But you work it out on this water against water stuff, and right. then you've got to work it out on the appropriate volumes. You'll find that the volume of water going through here with the volume that sort of left and went over when this was this level at that point it is, you'll find that this is actually getting higher as it goes that way because the water is then instead of this same fall line going through you've got a pile of water that is not moving because these two lots have mixed mm. you know what's going to i'll tell you why you've you've always thought about things in the progressional way of i do this and that happens but this is actually kind of looking backwards, you're saying... You only see dust if you look back. Yeah, but in this case you see water and yeah. you see the height of the <laughs> flood water. See, the height of the flood water here is in kind to influence what's happening mm. there. Yeah. I'm not a bad diviner, is it? I went straight here and got water. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Can you do it in October? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Probably in this creek. You probably would in paces you would. I'll tell you a story about where... None of them might have found any of them to tell you why they did it. <coughs> this is where I bury all the all the used dogs that don't work for it. If you hit the you know what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Kevin Langby bought a place down somewhere below, somewhere around Wollongong, Sandhill country. And George Freeman said, Kevin, don't dig too bloody deep, that's where I'd die, I'd bury all my horses. <laughs> Langby wouldn't even go outside. <laughs> Does it matter? We're only looking at the depth of water relative to the same fall on the surface of the ground. You're going to be a shovel. <laughs> you got a backhoe? Oh. 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 Oh.
Change the height here. Yeah. And the okay. height will now change in those holes down through there. So what, what was going through here is now turned up that way? Yeah, that's not important. All we wanted to do is change the level here and use an alternative flow line to change it. We have. Now, those blokes who want to know, go and make a hole in that bank and watch the road. It's the same sort of thing if we ran it that way. We take this up. Peter, on this bottom bank of this one before you forget it. So the water's still going to be coming along that bank, no. but what, all the energy's going to come no. out of it. No. See, I knew you weren't doing this. And that, you now look at the water that's like here. See, look, mm -hmm. get in there and try and shift that water. That's yeah. sand. Mm -hmm. Yet if I go over there, you do the same thing and watch what happens. Mm -hmm. Nothing will move till yep. right up back around the corner there. Yeah. You watch, I'll go in there and... Not even the not even the mud's moved. Yep, that's it. So, so what you mean is by having those two logs drop the graze, they've taken all the energy out of the yeah. water. It's dead water stock. Yep. So, so what I was trying to say, but was the water? See, that's still not be even running. moving. The mud's not going anywhere, so yeah. you can't cause erosion. The water will still be on that side, but it'll have no energy in it, so it no, won't erode. It'll be a pond like this. Yeah. Yep. Everything you need to learn before you get on the bulldozers is here, so you can play around. You can make all sorts of little erosion things. <laughs> I just take your point then. Um, yeah, you get that energy out of the water. Yeah, that's. Um, it's this face that does everything. That you measure that face back there as far as it it lasts. Yeah. 